Hi guys, so welcome to another Power F video. So in this session, what I will show you is how to create signature input box where your user can add their signature like this and they can clear that one out. And if they submit without adding their signature, then it will give us an error saying no signature found. But if they add their signature and you submit, then we can go to the next step. So if this functionality is what you're looking for, then this video is for you. All right, so for this video, we already did some design in our canvas and we also have two screens here. So for the first screen, we have signature app and second screen will be our success screen. Now let's go back to signature app. Now, just to explain the content, we have here the instruction text. We also have here a simple image that would tell our users to sign in. And also we have two buttons. We have clear button and submit button, all right? So the only missing piece here in our app is the pen input. And we will also add two labels. So to do that, let's go to insert input, select pen input. And we will move this in the middle of our screen. Okay. And we will also add two labels. So the first label will contain the text for initial input. So let's change the size to 30. Okay. And let's put it here. And we'll just copy this one and we'll change this to text pen input so these labels are really important for our app since our first label will contain the image value when our user have signed and the second label will also contain the same image value once we click our clear button here so to show it let's move to our pen input first and then let's change this to pen signature and let's go back to our first label. What we will do here is we will set the text to a variable name as var initial pen input. All right. While for the second label, we will have this as variable pen input. All right. Let's go back to our pen signature. Then let's go to advanced, then on select. Instead of false, what we will do here is we will set the variable var initial pen input to the pen signature uh, image value. Okay. So to explain this, once our user put their signature here, all right, our label have this image value of 140 so let's just make this around 20 all right so that is 140 and when we remove our image here the image value stays to 140 now let's go to our clear button then go to advance and unselect what we will have here is we will set the same variable which is var initial pen input and the value will be the uh, pen signature dot image and at this time we will also set the value for our variable var pen input then comma then pen signature dot image so what will happen here is that when our user click the clear button both labels our label 1 and label 2 will have the same value, which is the pen signature that image. And at the last part, we will reset our pen signature. And let's move this up. So to explain this, once our user provide their signature, all right, so we have slash 144. And when we click the clear button, we will also have the same value. So let's just make uh, this a little bit smaller. So let's say 25, okay, or 20, good. So 
you can see here that we have slash 144 and slash 144 for label 1 and label 2. So meaning, if they have the same value, there is no signature added to our pen input. So if we add our signature again, you would see here that the first label have slash 148 and our second label stays to slash 144. But if we clear the pen input, we would have slash 148 and slash 148 as well for both labels. So the reason why we are doing this is that we don't want to proceed to the next screen without any signature in our pen input. So it happens when the user clicks submit, all right? So meaning if they are not the same, meaning our label one and label two doesn't have the same value, then that means we have our signature in pen input. But if they are the same, meaning there is no signature added. So we already set the functionalities of our pen input and our clear button. Let's now check our submit button. So for submit button, let's go to advance and select on select. Okay, what we will do here is we want to compare the value of our var initial pen input against the var pen input. Okay, so this is the first label here and then this is the second label here. All right, now if they are not the same, this is the time we can navigate to the success screen. Okay, then let's just have a fade transition, then comma. And if they are the same, we will set our error message here because there is no added signature. So our message would be error message, no signature, okay, found, something like that. Oops, and then let's close it out. So for the instruction, let's change this to if, if error message is not equal to blank, all right, so meaning there is an error, then we will say no signature found, all right? Let's close this one out, or let's have, uh, since we already add value to our error message variable, then let's have error message. Right? And you can see here we have blank instruction. So let's go to clear and uh, set the error message to uh, blank. Okay. So once we click our clear button, we should see the instruction. Oops, we have an error. All right. Okay. So I forgot we have an extended. Uh, code here Okay, now if we click our clear button, so it will say please provide signature then click submit now if we Add our signature our first label is Not the same to our second label. So meaning we have a value in our pen input Now if we clear that we will have 160 and 160 uh, value at the last part of our label and if we click submit then it will tell us that there is no signature found so at the last part let's just have our final design here so for the pen input let's make the border to five all right thickness and then select red color and then for show controls we will remove that since we will not use those controls and we already have our clear button. And finally, we will select these labels and we will hide them. Okay, so let us test our app. So it says here, sign in, then there is no signature found. When we add our signature, all right, and we clear that, it will throw up an instruction saying, please provide signature, then click submit. Now, if we submit without any signature, then it will tell us that there is no signature found. When we add our signature and we click submit, then we'll proceed to the next screen, which is our success screen. Okay, so that's a quick video. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. So that's it for today. Bye.